da, 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 da. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cal being late on the song. It's fine. I got <laughs> kind of a weird headache. So let's see how today's go. We're, we done the last, well, the fifth floor yesterday. There's now like one thing left. One little galaxy and two big ones. Uh, I mean, like, I, I feel like progress has been going faster as things move forward somehow. Uh, like, as the levels are meant to become probably longer and harder, I feel like my, like, daily star intake average has only risen. Maybe it's just because of added comfort with the game. You know, you know it might just be as simple as that. Welcome to the garden! Alright, so... We got a tiny galaxy, but I think I'm gonna wait until I unlock the local Luma. Like, I think that makes the most sense. And maybe pair them together. So I've done you, which is the inner rest. So yeah, then I'll do the middle one and then the furthest one. That makes sense to me. So dreadnought it is. Look at that thing. It looks like it's made of Legos. <laughs> looks like a big, like, just like a conventional rocket ship with, like, scaffoldings. Uh, all right, infiltrating the Dreadnought. I gotta do it. It's gonna cost 12 mana, but we are going to do it. All right, so we got big like heat beams. We got just, whoa, that, that background sound of an engine. All right, yeah, let's, we like heat beams. See, look at that, this is pretty neat. All right, okay, so, well, check it out, we're here. So, immediately, and this is probably on purpose, but I am getting pretty huge, uh... Whoa, my jump didn't jump the way I wanted. It's fine. Uh, I got money immediately. Like, I'm getting huge... Whoa. Like, ba ba battle core, ga battle rock, battle rock. There you go, that's classic. Except instead of being inside, like, a big chunk of rock, it's, like, entirely artificial. This is honestly pretty rad. Alright, what do I do with you? I'm not sure. I can do that if I want. Can I do that and spin you right into that thing, though? Doesn't look like it. Okay, uh... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so, yeah, I can do that all day long. Doesn't really help. Like, I don't think the game has kill rooms? No, it had things you just had to destroy. Yeah, just destroy the three helmeted Goombas for which this pane of glass was dependent on. It's simple. Oh, look at that happy little bolt of death, though. It is so happy to be here and quickly moving back and forth. It is just... Yeah, that's right. I'm zooming. And there's nothing you can do about it, and there's nothing I want to do about it. So that's pretty lucky. All right, here we go. Doing some 2D stuff. Okay, we're gonna be doing the old wall jump. Whoa. Oh, shoot. All right, you know what? No. Okay. So people wonder why I still don't very often use the twirl as a way to maximize jump distances and whatnot. And I feel like that was kind of a demonstration there, of where I feel like very often uh, when I try to be precise with the twirl, I just do something wrong. And I just don't get the result that I want. So I feel like maybe, um, like it kind of poisoned my ability to consider it a viable action. Alright, split the gravity around. Oh, sideways? Okay, it's just these two ways. Got it. Fair enough, that's why you got stairs in this shape here. And that's why these stairs are going the way they're going. Oh jeez. Uh, uh, why are you- why did you just refuse to wall jump? Oh my god, this game- the wall jump- I don't know why they gave me so much trouble, but they do. They just do. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, there's the arrow, that's fine, that's gonna happen. So my failure point is that I was trying to jump on the second stair, but instead of doing anything at all, Mario saw fit to, like, just, yeah, like, oh man, I don't know. Oh jeez, okay, well, stuff is happening here, by the way. Yeah, I don't know, like, there's some, th I don't know. I just don't know, I do not know how to articulate it, I'm gonna stop trying. Alright, I'm gonna bounce on this thing instead. Oh jeez, okay. So you gotta time yourself. You can't just do it willy-nilly. 
still gotta try and just barely make it. How about... Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Let's keep trying. Just... Okay, that's not gonna do. Like, is there just something about the twirl? I just don't understand. Maybe. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Alright, I lost a life here. It's gonna happen. Okay, alright. Oh, boy, not being flung the way I thought I... Ooh, you make me glide in a way I didn't expect. Which explains how you get here. Okay, here we go. Now we're outside again. There's small bombs and a rotating thing and a black hole just kind of here to bring forth some kind of... Oh, alright, yeah, an enemy right from Kirby. That's right, this little guy. Little saucer guy. You know, always ready to little and saucer. Alright, so swallow it is going to give you tornado powers. Which, I mean, kind of is giving me. This is I don't need to swallow him. Alright, here we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, Goomba. This is you. You're the Goomba. Um... So I need... I was supposed to bring a bob -omb from the lowest level to bust that cage open and get that one up, which I'm not even attempting. Looks like. Sounds good. Oh, geez. Is this gonna be a thing? Oh, okay. Oh, shoot! So, I thought I was gonna get crushed. So, that's why, like, I was afraid of once being on top of this. Like, there would be a ceiling, and I would be crushed, and I would be sad. Oh, that's just coins there? I thought there'd be, like, something. Man, this is going... Can you turn? Nothing? No? Fantastic. Yeah, I got distracted by that. It's, this is how I think it's supposed to go, and it's really rad. Uh, uh, but yeah, I got distracted by the side thing. I was sure it was going to be like a side path. It was not. It was just for coins. Why are you doing that? Okay, well, these are just like melt beams. As you do. And we're gonna go from square to square with those like... Oh. Or we're gonna go to one square, I guess. Uh, okay. Where are we? What are we doing? What are you here? Hey, Bullet Bill. Here you are, on this land. There's a thing I want you to destroy right here. Thank you for your patronage of the death. I did not expect to swell everything up in the water that that would somehow attract the attention of boiling machines. But you know, that's how hot air is made, all right? You need big contraptions in space. It's very inefficient. Um, so from here, clearly you are meant to be a little docking passage here. Frog along. I didn't stomp on the frog, I'm gone. Well, the frog is gone. Is there anything in here? I mean, this is another way up. Fair enough. If you fall in the water or something. This is always a pathway that is going to be open for you. Oh, the frog on a lawn! Love me, a frog on that lawn. Uh, Alright, so here's here's a place that's a little bit dangerous you can go. If you want to one-up, and you know what? Maybe I do want it, and there's just like, whoa, heat, heat zone. It's not heat, it's electricity. I thought it was heat. There's something about it to me that says heat beams. I I don't know how to interpret this little rackle cackle that I got there, but hey, you know what? You do you. You know yourself more than anyone else. Infiltrating dead rot. Did we infiltrate? I don't know if we did. I mean, we started outside of it and it ended up somewhere within its territory. So I guess that definitionally we kind of did infiltrate, but it was kind of low-key. Alright, and we are returning. No immediate comments have appeared. She's gonna fly. But then da, da, da. Alright, and here's Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons! Alright, we're going on the offensive. That's a thwomp. It's like, those are the cannons. Yeah, this is like the first one of Battlestar Galactic Mario, except that, uh, we got gone down the saucer, maybe? But we got a bunch of panels to press there, all right? And we got this thing. There's a bomb way down there. This is the screw thing from um, from Mario 3. It's just like huge, it is gigantic. Oh, I like that. Okay, all right. So, here we get all these panels. What do they mean? 
You step on all of them and then they turn out of the dog houses. Oh, that is that is kind of the best. All right. Um, it's also kind of dangerous. Also, they be barking. They aren't skipping here. Oh. Uh, I still have some issues sometimes where I feel like I want to turn more, more, basically, when I turn, uh, uh, which the game does not, like, you got a turning radius, and somehow, SOMEHOW, in spite of having been playing this game for a while, I feel like I still haven't really internalized it, alright, so gotta keep it turning, it's gonna want to turn back the other way if you let it, so don't. Yeah, my life meter is pulsating. It wants attention, but I am not giving it. All right, here we go. Now we just do a little bit of the same. Look at those barrels. I keep looking. I am looking. Okay. Yeah, see? I knew that looking at... Oh, all right. Oh, shoot. Okay, well. That went... Oh, oh, I did not realize that I did not have a safe way to step there. Uh, yeah. Uh, there could have been a really funny day there where I just kind of tried to do the jump and not realize that, that was not recommended. So what's with this? Why is there a bomb dispensary? Can I board the launch star while holding a bomb? I don't think so. So maybe there was something to go back to blow up that I missed that I just like did not notice. That could be where the secret star is gonna be. It could be, but now we don't got time for that. Yeah, we're doing the thing with the saucer, except this time it's a, it's a rectangle, which technically makes this a little bit harder because we cannot seek refuse, refuse rather, we cannot seek for refuse uh, on the underside. Uh, like there's one side fits all, except for here, I guess, maybe? Okay, oh, okay, got it. Did not see that coming, overripe Goomba. Okay, doing this backwards now. Well, not backwards. Oh, what? Huh. All right, but we start here, so it's fine. All right, let's do that again. So, though I may have health, being hit might just kill me outright regardless, so, you know. Keep that in mind, uh, forever. There's a lot of impact in that perfectly spherical, relatively slow-moving projectile. Doesn't look like it murder you that bad, but if you give it the chance, it absolutely will. Whoa, 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 no! Yeah, that was all on purpose. You can tell by my extremely confident whelps of panic and fear. <laughs> All right, transition. Doing it again, except this time, this guy, Mimi. Uh, what's the story here? Did I wait too long? No, I did not wait nearly too long enough, and that's good. But I was kind of worried for a hot second. So you're gonna, okay, I was gonna say, you're gonna blow that up, except you're not. Turns out, all right, we're doing it sideways now. Cool, get out of here, Goomba. No time for you, as I have to process this information here. Uh, yeah, so I think they've limited the amount of cannons for a really good reason. Like, upside down, sure, whatever. It's weird, but, like, it's dealable with weird. Uh, sideways is, like, another level entirely. Right? And, uh, whoa, okay, that blew up. I wasn't sure if it was gonna blow up. Or if I'm gonna have to like jump back on it and like do a sort of like, you know, slalom between the two. Turns out it's not that scary yet. It's a little scary. Oh, and this is just like Mario Odyssey here. There's a star. Alright, getting close. We're gonna use. So yeah, in Mario Odyssey, there's a place where there's a whole bunch of like ring danger like this. I guess this is where it started. I finally know a little piece of history. You got a couple of weird deaths here, but overall it went all right, but no, yeah, like the difficulty, like world six, floor six, I don't know how to refer to this, but the garden. The garden's the most dangerous place on, on the space base. To assume anything else would be foolish.
And now, like, I feel like I said the last thing I should say in a video, but, like, I still had to go through all that. That was kind of awkward, honestly. <laughs>